Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to get the iMessage and FaceTime working. On your so I got all of my MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, and iMac Pro working. On. First thing we need to do is to make sure the first one you need is that you need to run the iMessage debug and make sure that there is no error whatsoever okay that's the first one when you run iMessage debug and then the IO registry when we use EN0 you must have the built-in so whatever you use is the Ethernet or if you don't have Ethernet your Wi-Fi must be built in so for the laptop that doesn't have any Ethernet the Wi-Fi must be EN0 and built-in. That's the most important one. The third one we want is to make sure that the NVRAM is working. So they have a test on the NVRAM so we have sudo minus s. So we're going to sudo NVRAM minus P now to test if the NVRAM is working here's what we do we're going to clear everything so we're going to do sudo NVRAM minus C so it should clear although it said that is error now we can do nvram minus p now it's all clear you see that so to test to see if the nvram is working what we need to do is to sudo nvram my mac equal Okay, so now we can say sudo nvram minus p. So you see right here, my Mac, iMac Pro 1.1. Now when we reboot, we should be able to see this one. If we see this, then our nvram is working alright so that's the third thing and also for me to make sure that everything is working if you use open core configurator so when we get the platform ID now like this one right here how would you create it so we're gonna choose the correct one for your Hackintosh. So this one I use iMac Pro because this is X99 UD5 6900 i7 6900K. So we use this one. So we're going to check add and data hub we're going to add this one to the config also now when we look at this one right here they have the ROM so what we're going to do we're going to enter the ROM uh, Ethernet the one that's working the one that EN0 
okay so when we click the hardware you have this one here the MAC address so we're going to put in here but we're going to remove all that the uh, colon all right that's it so we're going to spoof this one also so we have to see spoof vendor right here okay when we're done with this SM BIOS and one most important thing is that if we take this one is the serial number we're gonna go to so we entered it here SU84 okay so if we see this that means the serial number is not available which is not the same as the one that's already registered with Apple then we are good so this serial number is good for iMessage to register this one okay now we're going to output save as SM BIOS iMac Pro 1 1 iMessage when we go to the developer you will see this one right here so we take this platform ID right here this is the one we're going to use and you look the serial number is here okay generic you have the ROM that is yours this particular system and the SM BIOS so where we have all of this then when we put into the config file this is where it's gonna go okay all right so if you get all of these things working so right now I have with the iPhone updated the photo is not really working to import my iPhone so I'm going to show you how to import from the iPhone using the preview or image capture all right that will be a, a different tutorial so when you get all of these things working then you will have the iMessage and also FaceTime but you have to have a camera all right 